and welcome back YouTube. This is Booster Box Buster here with a very awesome Booster Box opening. Today I got for you from the Naruto CCG Naruto Shippuden Will of Fire Booster Box opening. This was, I believe, the 17th set released in the card game, and let me tell you, this is a cool set. I've never actually opened anything from this set, but I have seen a few cards, and it focuses heavily on the Kakazu and Hidan fight from the anime. In honor of this set, I'm using my Hidan playmat, because this just works perfect with this. And... Another cool thing about this set, it was the only other set besides set 16 Broken Promise to use the uh, black and gold uh, hollow cards. So if uh, the distribution is correct, we should get one black and gold super rare in this set. This box retailed for one point in time for $85. I did not pay $85 for this. This box actually cost a little bit north of that because this is a hard to find set in a booster box form. Very lovely Akatsuki cloak symbol. Naruto right there, very cool image. And of course just the regular logo on the front. Without further ado, let's get into this. I'm super excited to open this box. I have to say, uh, this set was not easy to find, and when I did find it, I had to jump on it because I really wanted to open a box from this set, because this is a really cool set. It, it features Akatsuki members, and I really like collecting Akatsuki cards. If it wants to open... Please open. Give me a second here. Try to score it. Okay. All right. So that is what it would look like if you were actually in the card shop. Very, very cool. And here are what the actual pack images look like. Very lovely Naruto on front with Kakazu in the back back there. Uh, the goal card to pull out of this set is 100% either black and gold Kakazu or black and gold Hadan. One of those two would be fantastic. Alright, let's get started. Left side and then we'll go on the right side. And if I remember right, this set is actually fairly large from the game, too. Alright, our first card is Howl. Very cool. Then we got Interruption. Reverse Hollow is Todoroki. Very nice. Cursed Warrior. Shura. Backup. Ten Ten, Naruto Uzumaki Childhood, Kazuma, and our first rare, very nice, is Earth Style Earth Pike. Very nice image of Kakazu. Honestly, unfortunately, I do not know the valuable cards of the set. I didn't really look at the prices. But, of course, we will always take a look at the super rares if we happen to pull some. Alright, we got a giant spider. You can barely see that spider through that uh, 
sandstorm there. Stolen bodies. Attacking on both sides. Hidan receiving a uh, pincer attack. Rajin. Yagura. The next target. Hinata. Kirinai. I do want to stop and talk about this card real quick. Uh, unfortunately, this card's art just does not look right. Her arm just doesn't match. Fudo. And ooh, that is an awesome, awesome pull to go with the playmat, of course. We got Hidan Curse Mode. Very awesome pull. Very excited to have that. Uh, back in the day, I really wanted to make an Akatsuki deck, but it was really difficult to because uh, the Akatsuki members were all really high level and all different colors. Very few, very few of them actually shared colors, so it was really hard to make a consistent Akatsuki deck. Raigo, Thousand Hand Strike, very awesome. Eight Gate Lockup. Rock Lee Reverse Hollow, very nice. Eno, Black Sword, Shuriken, Tetsuji, Sora, Kihu, and Gensho, very nice rare. that. Alright, we got black strings, exposing the real face, Rinji, Rajin, Yagura, the next target, Hinata, Kirinai, Fudo, and a distraction rare. Look, a distraction! Cards look a little bit like somebody had their fingers on them, unfortunately. And no, that's not for me. I made sure to wash my hands before I do these videos. Ooh, very nice. Anger of the Tailed Beast. Exposing the real face. Ooh. Unfortunately, we got a uh, super rare mission. I was really hoping to get ninjas, but we will take a look at it. Tragic Destiny Super Rare Mission. It is a water and fire mission. Turn 4, 1 hand cost. Let's t take a look at its effect. Target one of your opponent's ninjas. Effect, destroy one ninja card from your discard pile. Or, or deploy one ninja from your discard pile or your chakra area, ignoring its hand cost. In that case, that ninja gets all of the target's effects text in addition to its own while both targets remain in play. Okay, so pretty interesting. So you can uh, literally deploy a, any, any uh, ninja card from your discard pile or your chakra area, so if it was destroyed or if you had to charge it, you can, it, you can deploy it without having to uh, worry about it. It doesn't say it has to meet the entrance cost or hand cost, so that's a big plus, so if it's a heavy hitter you could instantly play it on turn 4. The only thing is, is if it has an effect, your opponent's ninja also gets that effect while both cards remain in play. Very interesting card. Uh, I would say that this would be runnable, actually. This was this could be a definitely a good card, because you could uh, bring back any card from your discard pile or chakra area as early as turn four, so not bad. 
Uh, I, 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 like I said, I definitely say that this card is runnable. We got Rajin. Monju, that's a new one. Giant Club. Tetsuji. Kotetsu, I really love that artwork. Gozu. And a rare uh, Lightning Style Earth Slide. Very cool. Yeah, that, that mission I'm actually pretty impressed with. That's definitely a solid mission if I'm reading that right. And since you can play it on your turn, you get uh, that instant advantage of the uh, any type of effect. Oh, that pack does not want to open. And since we just pulled a super rare, I doubt it contains a super rare. Ooh, very nice. We got Shadow Possession Jutsu. Sharp Shooting. Narari? Is that how you say that? I'm not quite sure, but man, that guy, girl, person looks freaky. Cursed Warrior, Shura, Backup, Tintin, Naruto Uzumaki Childhood, Kazuma, and Yugito, Yugito Ni, Nai. What a lovely image there. I really like that artwork. Okay, that character right there is freaky, though. Kiss of Death. Huh. Looks like someone's doing some, uh, succubus-style soul-stealing. Violent Emotion. Kigiri. Very cool-looking. Fujin. Five-pronged seal release. In the Rain. Gara of the Desert. Very nice art. Sai. Yukimaru, and our rare is Illusion Caused by the Poisonous Moth. I could not read that from that far away. Looks pretty interesting, though. Wind Jutsu. All right, we are on Beast Wave Palm Hurricane. Very cool. S uh, scary story. Kotetsu, very nice reverse holo. I really like having that. That is a really nice image. Queen Bee. Manju. Farewell. Sasuke Uchiha. Choji Akami, er, yeah, Choji. Uh, Foka. And our rare is Earth Earth Style Ultimate Revival Jutsu Soil Bodies. Oh man, that is one long name. Very interesting though. What Water Earth Style Jutsu? I don't know. This pack feels lucky. I think we might get something good this pack. I have to say, I'd really, really love a uh, Black and Gold Kakazu. That would be a fantastic pull.
we got Fatal Blow, Emergency Call Up, Choji Akamichi, uh, no super rare this pack, Sh uh, Sh Shinny, Shin, Water Style Syrup Trap, Chakra Blade, Tracking Ninja, Sakura, Sakura Childhood, Kigari, and our rare is taking over, <clears throat> taking over the world. How uh, villain-esque. That is definitely a villain rare. Zero, zero hand cost uh, mission though, so that's pretty good. Oh, this pack feels a little bit heavier than normal. Maybe this pack has the uh, other super rare for this side. Oh, Hinata Hyuga Student. There's actually a playmat of this card, and it is stupidly expensive. It goes for like a hu 150 bucks whenever it goes up for auction. I'm surprised by how much that playmat goes for this, to this day. Very lovely card, though. Hate. Very strong word. Oh, no super rare. The next target, very nice reverse hollow. Onko. This set is huge. I've gotten a whole bunch of different cards just out of the first set packs here. Attacking on both sides. Kunai. Naruto Uzumaki. Kotetsu. Nirai. And Mirakumo. Very nice. Getting down there, almost at the end of the left half. If the packs would like to open properly, that'd be nice. Ooh! Scattered. Thousand Bird Jutsu. Very nice. I like that card. Violent Emotion. Ooh, okay. So we got our first super rare ninja, and it's Sakura. I, I think I remember this card not being worth too much, but let's take a look. Wind Ninja. Turn 3-0 hand cost. A woman's Life. During the turn this ninja is put in play, if you have only female ninjas, this ninja's team can only be blocked by a team of female ninjas only. Valid all other female ninjas are female only ninjas. Get plus one plus one and plus one mental power. Okay, so uh, first turn ability is actually pretty good because most people are not going to be running female only decks, so you'll be able to get a unblockable attack in. Uh, the other ability, Mental Power, really not worth too much in the game, so... Eh. Mental Power abilities aren't really that good. But her first ability is pretty decent, so I'd, I'd say it's not a bad card. Uh, if you're running Heavy Wind, definitely a possibility. Uh, better Sakuras exist, but... If you're short on Sakuras, definitely worth a look. Sea Monster, very nice. Black Sword. Bounty. Hinata, Ino, Rinjin, and Gurin. Very nice. Alright, the last pack of the left side. Ooh, very nice. A little bit of damage on that card, unfortunately. We got Tamari. Argument. Bounty. That's a reverse hollow, not bad. 
Fujin, five prong seal release. Oh, that is glaring in the light. In the rain. Whoop, let me center that. Gara of the desert. Sai. Yukimaru. And our rare is Invasion of the Akatsuki. Very awesome card. Probably not that good, but very awesome nonetheless. Something about this bounty, it looks really uh, fuzzy. Not just because of how the regular card looked fuzzy too, so... Must, must not have been a good screen cap. On to the right side, halfway through the box. I'd say the cards this time around aren't, are actually pretty, pretty decent. Just really would like to pull a Don or Kakazu. That would be awesome. Alright, first card is Super Strength. Reading. Fatal Blow. Rajin. Five Prong Seal Release. The next target. Naruto Uzumaki. Sora. Gozu. And Rare is Sudden Entry. Rare Mission. At least the black and white uh, gold is toward the end. Our black and gold rare is toward the end of this box, so that, that keeps us in suspense of that. Now that I say that, it's going to be in this pack. Just watch. Burst of shots. Very nice. Black strings. I called it. <laughs> Ooh. It's not Kakazu Hordan, but man, that looks sick. The first Hokage. Let's see if you can even see that effect. Turn six, one hand cost, Earth Elemental, Supremacy. When this ninja is deployed, you can move up to two of your opponent's battle rewards to your hand. Valid during your mission phase, you can move up to four cards from your discard pile to the bottom of your deck in any order. Oh, the battle rewards thing is nice. It kind of helps you if you're in a pinch. Um, the card thing... Uh, I mean, it goes to your deck. It goes to the bottom of your deck. If it went to the top of your deck, it would be awesome, but... Uh, bottom of your deck... Uh, is there any cards that let you draw from the bottom of your deck? I can't remember. I'm not sure about that. I'm going to leave that right there. But, uh, I mean, there's better first Hokages. Uh, definitely okay. Uh, just okay. Fuka. Sai. Kiba. Anko. Shuriken. Combination Jutsu. And Booby Trap. <laughs> Gotta love that name. Like I said, there's better first Tokages, but that, that one, not, it's it's not bad. Definitely love that black and gold image, though. That looks really awesome. We got Sharing the Pain, isn't that a Yu-Gi-Oh card name? Hate. Transporting the Bodies. Anko. Attacking both sides. Kunai. Kiba. Naruto Childhood. Fuin. And Kabuto Rare. Not bad. I can never cut these things right. I don't want to cut too deep because there's not much room between the top and the uh, cards. So if I cut too deep, rip cards. We got Scattered Thousand Bird Jutsu. I love that name. 
Shout of Victory. I haven't even seen that card yet. Saimi? Is that Saimi? That's a rare reverse hollow. Eno. Shura. Shuriken. Tenten. Choji. Fudo. And present. Our present. Present for the promotion. Okay. Is our rare. Ooh, very nice. Shadow Possession Jutsu. Rebellion. Ooh! <laughs> That's awesome. That is a reverse hollow rare of four, soul, four souls of Kakazu. That is an epic pull. That is almost as good as a super rare. I am super happy with that. I hope I pull the regular rare too, but man, that super rare, or that reverse hollow is nice. Cursed Warrior, Yagura, Giant Club, Hinata, Sai, Narari, and Semi, Saimi. We just pulled that as a reverse hollow. bad. Beast Wave Palm Hurricane. I love that name. Concentration. Booby Trap. Anko. Tokodo, uh, Todoroki. Bow this just looks fuzzy. I don't know. It ju just looks fuzzy to me. Bounty. Kiba. Naruto Childhood. Fuin. And Rare. Ooh, that's a nice Rare. We got... Choji and Shikamaru. Not bad. Getting toward the end of this box, guys. Hard to believe it's almost over. Still have a chance to pull a super rare Hidan. That'd be really cool. We got a very awesome Tamari. Uh, eight gate lockup. Ooh, our final super rare. Unfortunately, we did not get one of the box poster cards, but we did get a very cool three tails. Water elemental, turn seven, one hand cost, late game card. Let's read its effect. A, mom a monster who lives in the abyss, valid. When this ninja team is win a victory, or an outstanding victory, you can discard three of your opponent's chakras. That's good, that'll be- that's devastating late game. Ballad, when your opponent sends a team out to battle, that player discards one of their chakras, if possible. 8-3 healthy, 6-0 injured. Uh, both of Exit and Valid is great. Uh, this card's actually pretty decent. Just destroy, deplete your opponent's chakras. Uh, only bad thing is it's such late game. I don't know if it's going to make that much of a difference at that point or not. A uh, very powerful card, just a little bit too late game for me. De it, early in the game, this card would have been shut down, locked down. You get this card out, you win. So, yeah, ve very powerful card though. Definitely, definitely a uh, one that I would say is. Uh, highly plausible to run in your deck. You know, combination jutsu, the next target. Ooh, very awesome. Curse mark Sasuke Uchiha, Naruto Uzumaki, Fudo, and uh, that was the illusion caused by the poisonous moss. I think that's our only duplicate rare so far.
Well, we got about five packs left. I don't, unless we get really lucky, we shouldn't be getting any more super rares. But we still have a chance to pull some really awesome reverse hollows. Super strength. Flashback. Ritual rare. Reverse hollow. That is a nice card. Shin. Manju. Chakra blade. That awesome Sasuke. Ino. Yukimaru, and a rare Approaching Shadow of Death. That is an awesome, awesome name for a card. Sounds like a heavy metal song. That pack opened way... much easier than normal. Sharing the Pain, Yu-Gi-Oh card, Hate, Murakumo, Queen Bee, Five Prong Sealed Release, Farewell, Gara of the Desert, Yuzumo, Kihu, and our rare is Additional Team Member, Fire Mission. We got uh, three packs left. Let's see if we can pull some a really awesome reverse hollow. I think we pulled the best one we could have though, that uh, Kakazu for Demon Soul. Ooh, that's a new one and that is an awesome one. Ritual Circle. Scream. Azuma. Not a bad reverse hollow. Eno. Todoroki. Shuriken. Tenten. Choji. Fudo. And our rare is Marikumo on duplicate. Last two packs, guys. Let's see what soup let's see rever what reverse hollow we can get. Of course. I just want to open the pack. Anger of the Tailed Beast. Interruption. Anger of the Tailed Be Beast Reversed Hollow. Cursed Warrior. Jacko. I think that's a new one. Backup. Hinata. Sai. Nurari. And our rare is Razingan. Very. Very nice. Alright guys. Last pack. If we can get that soul card in regular rare, that'd be perfect to end this box on. And uh, that Hedon ninja card in reverse hollow would be epic too. Here we go. Let's see what we get. We got Burning Ash, Lord Owashi, and our re final reverse hollow of the box is Three Blade Scythe. I don't think I pulled that one yet, so that is not a bad card to have. Queen Bee, Yagura, Farewell, Gara of the Desert, Izumo, Kiho, and our final rare of the box is Earth Stell, Earth Slide. Unfortunately, we ended on a duplicate. All right. So let's take a look at what we got. For reverse hollows, we got Three Blade Scythe, Anger of the Tailed Beast, Azuma, Murakumo, Ritual, Booby Trap. This incredibly awesome 
Four Souls of Kakazu, which might be misprint. I'm not sure. See Me. Transporting the Bodies. Fatal Blow. Bounty. The next target, Choji. Kotetsu. Kigiri. This freaky looking person. Rinjin. Rock Lee. Attacking on both sides. And Todoroki. For rares, we got Earth Style, Earth Slide, Rosengan, Murakumo, Additional Team Member, Approaching Shadow of Death, very awesome, Illusion Caused by Poisonous Moss, Choji and Shikamaru, See Me, Present for the, present for the Promotion, Kabuto, Booby Trap, Sudden Entry, Invasion of the Akatsuki, very awesome name. Gurin, Lagan, Murakumo, Taking Over the World, another awesome name. Uh, Earth Style Ultimate Revival Jutsu, Soil Bodies, Illusion Caused by the Poisonous Moss, Yukito, Earth Style Earth Slide, Distraction, Gensho, this in Incredibly awesome Hidan Curse Mode and Earth Style Earth Pike. For our three super rares, we got the very cool Three Tails, Very Nice Sakura, and Tragic Destiny. And for our black and gold of the box, we got the first Hokage. This has been Booster Box Buster, opening up a booster box of Naruto, Shippuden, CCG, Will of Fire. Signing out.